Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on data versus information in DBMS, Database Management System. So this is the basic and important question that can be asked in various companies interviews and also it is the one of the most important viva question that can be asked in database management system lab okay now we have to go to differences between data and information data is unrefined facts and figures okay data first one is data is unrefined facts and figures and utilized as input for the computer system okay so data is unrefined facts and figures okay we do not form any refinement to the facts and figures so then that can be called as data so that can be given as input for the computer system okay so whatever we are providing as input for the computer system that has that data has no refinement can be done so this is a raw data that raw data is provided as input for the computer system okay then the computer system can process the data then we can obtain the information so whereas information is the output of processed data okay the processor data is also called as information okay this information can be provided by the computer system whenever the data is given as input for the computer system okay now we can say that information is equal to data plus meaning okay generally data has no meaning okay now we are providing the meaning for the data then it can be called as processed data then it can be called as information next second one is data is a individual unit which contains raw material and it does not carry any meaning here data is a some individual unit maybe it is a character or a set of character or a number okay data is a individual unit which contains raw material which does not provide any meaning okay whatever the data that is provided by that is provided is the raw material that do not have any meaning next one whereas information is the product information is the product and a group of data which collectively carry a logical meaning here information is the product okay the group of data can be collectively called as information so information is nothing but processed data whatever the data that are given as input for the computer system then that data can be grouped and also provide meaning so then we get a product that product is called as information okay now third one is data does not rely on information okay data does not depend on information but information is rely on data okay how information can be obtained information can be obtained from the raw data so we can say that 
information is derived from the data whereas data does not rely on information next one so data can be formed in numbers characters set of characters so that data can be stored in magnetic tapes or a hard disk okay for storing the data in magnetic tape or a, uh, magnetic tape or a hard disk okay so that can be measured in bits or bytes so data can be measured in bits or a bytes but whereas information can be measured in uh, meaningful units like time and quantity so information can be measured in meaningful quantities meaningful quantities like time and temperature etc okay next one fifth one is data comes from the single latin word datum datum data comes from a single latin word datum its original meaning is something given its original meaning is something given so data can adopt in multiple forms like numbers letters set of characters image etc stored in hard disk so data can be obtained from a, a, a latin word called as datum so what is the meaning of datum something given okay so generally the data can be stored as a letter or a group of letter or a image or a figure so okay the data can be measured in terms of bits or a bytes next one information can be obtained from the verb informally informally that means to form and develop an idea so what is the information can be obtained from the verb informally what is the meaning of that verb is to form and develop an idea okay so we have to develop an idea first we have to form the group of data then we can develop an idea so that is nothing but information so information is equal to data plus meaning okay next example for data so 5000 5000 is the data because 5000 has no meaning 5000 is a number that has no meaning now we have to provide some meaning so then 5000 is the information here meaning is nothing but 5000 feet 5000 feet is nothing but we have to provide meaning for the data 5000 so then 5000 feet is the information so these are the differences between data and information thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel link the bell srini vasara the bell srini vasara so the bell srini vasara thank you